Yo, what is up? What is good, everybody? Thank you for tuning into Easy TV once again, and we'll get straight into the video. But if you could quickly leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. If it's your first time here, I would greatly appreciate you checking out some of my content and possibly subscribing as well. But today, guys, we've got a video on the GOAT app. And yes, I bought fake shoes on the GOAT app. So let me explain. Let me explain. So I'm going to tell you guys what exactly happened, how this all transpired, and then maybe I'm going to give a couple tips at the end uh, when buying sneakers on GOAT, and we'll go from there. So first and foremost, when it comes to the GOAT app, I want to preface everything by saying I've had a lot of wonderful experiences on GOAT, and this actually being one of them. So stay tuned for that. But I bought on GOAT. I've sold on GOAT. Uh, when it comes to the question of GOAT versus StockX, I think they're very similar. Obviously, when it comes to the sneaker market, uh, prices are a little bit different here and there, but for the most part, they're pretty similar. I know people were really clamoring about the extra StockX fee, but when you kind of sit down and look at it, uh, and if you actually use GOAT before, you know that GOAT does charge you a fee to take money out of the app. So I guess the real advantage versus StockX is if you're buying or selling or rather if you're selling on goat and then going to use those credits to buy on goat i guess that's the most valuable way to use your money on goat versus stock x but either way as far as this story goes so back in april towards the beginning of the year and i've been meaning to film this video for a while and i've just never gotten around to it i was really looking for a pair of wave runners right wave runners come out came out a little while ago and i never really got around to getting a pair i know they restocked a couple times and I was hoping to hit on a restock, but it got to the point where I just really wanted a pair of Wave Runners. I was gonna wear them, so I thought, let's go to GOAT. I'll buy them a little bit used. Hopefully, you can cop them right around retail or under retail. I didn't really wanna pay too much. And prices at the time for used Wave Runners in my size 10 and a half on GOAT weren't that bad at all. I saw some more used ones, less than retail. I saw some ones right about retail that were slightly used. So I did some looking around, I did some price looking, and ended up putting a couple offers down. And I did a good amount of research, right? I, I don't wanna say I'm a sneaker expert. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm Yeezy Buster or something out here where I'm gonna be able to tell if everything's real or fake. But when I am buying something, and something like the Wave Runners, which I was looking to buy for a while, I do do my research. And granted, over here the whole time, we'll have the screenshot that we can reference, but we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But I looked around, I found a pair that was in a used condition, but not too used, that was in my you know, price range that I was looking for, and I kind of put an offer down. Long story short, I wait a little bit, comes around to it. Looks like the seller took my offer. And if you look at the screenshot, I didn't actually pay um, those numbers. I ended up using some of my GOAT credit uh, in order to pay for part of it. So most of it was through GOAT credit. I think I ended up paying around the 290 mark or something, so slightly below retail, slightly used. I did plan on wearing them, so I wasn't fretting about that too much. Anyway, I'm real hyped to get them, and actually, over the coming little time, as I'm waiting for the seller to send the shoes to GOAT, and then GOAT to authenticate them, and yada, 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 I'm noticing that wave runner prices are starting to go up a little bit, so I was like, wow, I think I made a great decision in purchasing these now, uh, because if I would have waited a little bit longer, price would have went up. Time passes and I get a message from GOAT basically saying, hey, we refunded you your amount. And I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? And I open up the message and this message that you see here is a message I saw, which is that I had been refunded. And basically I got an email following up saying that when the shoes got to GOAT, they were fake. So technically, yes, I bought fake shoes on GOAT. Now, mad props to GOAT for catching that and not letting it slide. Now, honestly speaking, like I said, I'm not claiming to be an aficionado on real versus fake, but I did my research and when I looked at them, they seemed great. When I looked at the box, they seemed, everything looked legit and correct, but I guess GOAT deemed otherwise. Now, on one hand, I was quite annoyed that I didn't get the shoes I was gonna purchase and it took some time and my money was just there, holding there. And I didn't know what was going on until eventually they sent me the message. But at the same time, I guess I really am appreciative of a surface like GOAT and the fact that they're able to identify that because generally speaking, I thought I was buying 100% legit stuff. You know, I'm always buying real stuff, obviously. I'm not ever intending to buy fake stuff, uh, but it does show you that I guess there can be a hole sometimes when you're buying used products on a site and sometimes those used marks can maybe hide whether they're real or fake. I guess obviously it's easier to tell from a DS pair, real versus fake, than a used pair, but still grateful for GOAT for doing that and I guess I wouldn't have caught it myself. Now, 
after that happened, I had talked to a couple people and they recommended that it was worth a shot to reach out to GOAT and see if they would give me an additional credit for the fact that, you know, I've been waiting this whole time and then when they finally got back to me, price went up like literally a hundred bucks. So while I didn't expect much, I thought I'd reach out and see if that was the case. Um, someone had told me that that had helped them out before where they gave them a credit when the price changed and blah, 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 blah. And so I reached out and it took a little bit for them to respond, but they were basically like, hey, we can't really do much about that. We gave you back your original credits and happy shopping basically is to sum it up what they said. So first things first, I really wish I had pictures here of the actual item that I bought to show you guys. And that's one tip I'm going to start with is especially when you're buying used shoes on GOAT, when you put in an offer and you're actually serious about buying a shoe, take screenshots of that item because if you guys have never bought from GOAT before, what happens is after you buy, you actually don't have direct access in the app to those pictures. Now you can get them. I do know that if you contact GOAT and say, hey, can I have the original pictures of my items? They'll provide them, but it will be obviously a lot quicker if you just screenshot them. Just make sure you really kind of zoom in on everything and make sure you're looking at every little detail as well as the listing material. However, on GOAT, the listing details and description aren't always super specific. So just make sure you're examining each and every picture uh, because I don't believe sellers are actually held that penalty if they don't you know, specifically note a certain scuff or things like that. So just stay noted there. And secondly, I want to say that when you're you know, shopping on a platform like GOAT, do be prepared that your offer can very well get accepted. Um, in the meantime while you're waiting. So even if you place an offer that's lower than the ask, do know that you are prepared to buy the item, right? Even if you think it's a little lower and the uh, owner might not accept it, do not just put an offer out just to put an offer out. Obviously, I guess that's pretty common sense, but I do want to say that out there because your offer very well could get accepted in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. And if you don't have that money set aside, um, then things can happen. I do know several people who have had left offers sitting around and forgot about them and then next thing they know shoes show up and sometimes it's a good thing sometimes it's a bad thing because price went down or yada 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 so be careful of that that's my quick video for today guys yes as you can see over here i bought fake shoes from goat and that's not really clickbait because technically i did now goat did their job and didn't let them get to me and refund in my money so another great experience to be honest for me with goat as a seller as a buyer on both sides I don't think I've really had a negative experience with GOAT. Now, obviously, again, this situation is really annoying, but I can't even consider it a negative experience because they stopped me from grabbing fake shoes. And of course, I don't rock fake shoes. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what's your experience with GOAT? You know, have you had a similar issue like this before, especially when it comes to buying used shoes? Because I think that's a real differentiator between StockX and GOAT when it comes to the used market. So let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, guys, I've had nothing but great experiences from GOAT. It's unfortunate that this one seller, whether knowingly or not, tried to sell me fake shoes. And I technically did purchase them, but I was refunded. But for now, guys, just take it easy.